गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम है ना द लॉ ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम और लॉ ऑफ केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम इट इज नोन एज एंड इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन एज वेल एज द रिवर्स रिएक्शन ओके सो नाउ वट इज एक्चुअली द लॉ ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट सॉरी लॉ ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम और लॉ ऑफ केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम At given temperature, the product of concentration means if we are coming about the uh, concentration of A plus B is converted into C plus D, or if we are coming about the uh, C C and D D, है ना? In that sense, and if we are coming about the A A, and these are actually with the stoichiometric value actually. So what will be the equilibrium constant here? Concentration of C raised to the power stoichiometric value, concentration of D raised to the power stoichiometric value. and concentration of a raised to the power stoichiometric value stoichiometric value means balancing factor we are saying hai na and concentration of b raised to the power stoichiometric value so this is the actually we are uh, saying about which one uh, the equilibrium uh, this is called law of constant law of equilibrium uh, chemical equilibrium and the case is called actually law of uh, we can say the equilibrium constant here okay so uh, now we are coming one problem here actually what is the problem Uh, the problem is uh, the following concentrations were obtained for the formation of NH3 from N2 and H2 at equilibrium at 500 kelvin so N2 concentration is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 hydrogen concentration is 3 that is molarity all are given in molarity here 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 2 And NH three is coming here one point two into ten to the power minus two molar concentration. And what you have to find out, calculate the equilibrium constant. So how we can find out the reaction is given to us. What is the reaction here? N two plus three H two production is coming here two NH three. Am I clear now? And this is also is coming in gaseous state. These all are coming in gaseous state. Okay, this is also coming in gaseous state. Now we are coming. What will be the case? What we can write down here? Na NH three concentration whole to the power two and concentration of N two and concentration of hydrogen whole to the power which one? Three. Clear now. Now concentration everything is given to us. Just I am putting that on. What is the concentration of ammonia is given to us? One point two into ten to the power minus two whole square. And what is the nitrogen here? One point five into ten to the power minus two, and it is coming three into ten to the power minus two and whole to the power q. So when we'll be for uh, solving this one, and next it is coming about the one point two whole square means it is coming one point four four into ten to the power minus four. Two two is a four. And then one point five into three three is a nine three is a twenty seven into ten to the power minus six uh, and here it is coming ten to the power minus two. Okay, so I am just uh, keeping the ten to the power in one side and another numerically in another side. So now one point four four divided by twenty uh, seven into one point five to one point five it is coming fifteen seven is a one zero five and fifteen two is a thirty and ten forty. So it is coming forty point five. So forty point five, and here it is coming ten to the power minus four. Here it is coming ten to the power minus eight. So uh, it will minus will become up. So it will be coming ten to the power eight there. So one point four four divided by forty point five into uh, we can say ten to the power four. Hey na, this is the equation, and then you are coming forty point five. That means it is coming here zero. So four zero five zero and one four four. That means it is coming point zero. And then also it is not going zero, है ना? So point zero zero, and then it is coming one four four zero zero. That means coming three, three four is a twelve. So zero point zero three something will be coming point zero and three, and then one more digit also will be coming there. You have to find out that one. Ten to the four. So this is actually uh, result is coming for KC. So in that way we have to find out. One more example is also given to us in that same way. What will be the KC for the reaction? Same way it is given to us. And uh, there is uh, whatever their stoichiometry is there. So on the basis of stoichiometry, the product concentration to the power uh, raised to the power their stoichiometry coefficient as well as the reactant concentration uh, product of their reactant concentration. So this is the case we have to we can find out. 
ओके नाउ यू आर कमिंग फॉर द होमोजीनियस इक्विलिब्रियम व्हाट इज होमोजीनियस इक्विलिब्रियम नाउ ऑल द रिएक्टेंट एंड प्रोडक्ट आर इन द सेम फेज व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेम फेज सपोज हियर यू कैन सी इट इज एक्यूएस देन लिक्विड स्टेट देन एक्यूएस एक्यू दैट मींस हियर द होमोजीनियस फेज इज देयर लिक्विड फेज या एक्वाट एक्यूएस फेज दैट इज कॉल्ड द uh we can say the homogeneous one you can reaction one more reaction already you have done this reaction that is uh, nitrogen gaseous and uh, the hydrogen also is gaseous uh, form and this is also ammonia is also produced in gaseous form so this is also coming in a we can say um, the um, we can say it is coming in a homogeneous equilibrium now we are coming for the uh, jab uh, when the reaction is going on in gaseous phase how we can find out the equilibrium constant in gaseous system okay so now we are coming if the partial pressure is given okay so for actually formula what is the formula here okay we we'll write look at here pv equals to nrt all of you know that ideal gas equation and p equals to n by vrt so n by v means which one concentration n means moles per liter hai na moles per liter that is actually known as the molar concentration so instead of n by v can you not write down concentration we can write down so that is the actually relationship you can find out here derivation is given what when the equations are or reactions are going on in gaseous phase how we can find out okay so one reaction is given to us i'm just showing you how to find out okay hydrogen plus iodine what is production here coming 2 hi all are in which phase here all are in gaseous phase okay so this is one kind of what is that homogeneous equation all of you understood now now we have to find out the kc what you can write down the kc here concentration of hi to the power square because 2 is the stoichiometric value here and concentration of hydrogen and concentration of iodine at 1 1 is their stoichiometric value so this is the kc here clear but if we have to find out the kp means in their gaseous state kp instead of kc what you have to find out now kp you have to find out in that sense partial pressure of hydrogen iodide to the power square partial pressure of hydrogen and partial pressure of iodine instead of the concentration what you have to write down there partial pressure that is the difference now we got that one partial pressure of hydrogen iodide how we can get that one n by v rt that means n by v means concentration that means what we can say concentration of hi rt am i correct for p hydrogen means partial pressure of hydrogen what you can write down here now hydrogen n by v concentration that means n by v rt again that means it is coming concentration of hydrogen and rt means what is the relationship if we have to find out the uh, kp instead of kc how we can find out okay next one we are coming for iodine so here also we can say n by v rt and there also concentration of i2 to the power rt uh, to the power no means uh, product of rt this is the conversion now we are getting so instead of phi what you can write down so kp equals to you can write down here hi concentration of hi and into rt and uh, to the power square again it is coming this one is also coming in square this one is also coming in square and then we are coming ph2 ph2 means which one concentration of h2 rt and here concentration of i2 hai na we are writing in third bracket always when we are writing in the concentration i2 rt so what you can write down here h i to the power square and r t to the power square divided by h2 concentration into concentration of i2 and r t again 1 r t 1 r t that means it is coming r t square so it will be cancelled here and what is the uh, what is what does it mean this means kc all of you know kc means which one h i square divided by h2 into i2 concentration product of the concentration of hydrogen and iodine so that's why kp equals to kc in this reaction where both the condition means both the product two the stoichiometric value is two here here also one and one two that's why it is cancel there and in that sense kc and kp equal but if we are writing one more reaction है ना वायर सपोज मान लो वन मोर रिएक्शन वो ये एन टू वाले हम लिख लेते हैं सो एन टू प्लस थ्री एच टू 
production is coming here to NH3. I am giving the equation because this is balanced one. Clear? So now here when we are writing about the Kc, what you can write down here? Now NH3 concentration square divided by N2 concentration into concentration of hydrogen to the power 3. Am I clear? But when we are writing the Kp, what you can write down here? P NH3 whole square divided by P N2 and P N2 means we can write down here in the single bracket also, first bracket also, no problem. And P H2 over, so, okay, sorry, hold to the power cube. So, this is the, uh, this is the actually Kp we are getting. Now, instead of P N H3, what we can write down here, instead of P N H3, we can write down here concentration of N H3 and R T whole to the power, what will be coming there? 2 divided by for n2 parcel pressure of nit nitrogen what you can write down concentration of nitrogen into rt and parcel pressure of hydrogen what you can write down concentration of hydrogen into rt and multi it is good to the power power of 3 am i clear now now what is coming now concentration of nh3 square and again rt whole square divided by n2 concentration into h2 to the power 3 and rt to the power what will be coming there 1 and 3 4 am i clear now so 2 minus 4 so what is coming last of all what i have to write down here i have to write down here now this one okay. so i'm writing here you can understand so this is the kp but i am just writing here the relationship of kp and kc so kp equals to what you can write down kp equals to we can write down here look at here nh3 concentration square divided by n2 concentration into h2 concentration to the power 3 and rt ki value hum kya likhenge rt here it is coming 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 that means minus 2 what is the meaning of 2 minus 4 means product stoichiometric value minus reactant stoichiometric value okay now so if i am writing here so this is the actually relationship or instead of this one what you can write down here kc hai na? Iska matlab hai kc ho gaya. kc into rt 2 minus 4 hai na? 2 oh, sorry 2 minus 4 that is coming here minus 2 clear now so in that way we can convert this Kp into Kc. So, what we should write down actually. If I am writing here one equation. A A plus B B converted into C C plus D D. That means these are the product. These are the stoichiometric value here. And these are the reactant, these are the stoichiometric value here. So, in that sense, what you can write down, how we can uh, write down the Kp and Kc relationship. Now, we can write down Kp equals to Kc into Rt delta n. What is the meaning of delta n? Delta n means C plus D minus A plus B. Clear now? So, what is the delta n value? Matlab, jo stoichiometric values of product minus stoichiometric values of reactant that means delta n equals to what we can write down here c plus d c plus means small one means stoichiometric value one okay minus a plus b am i clear now in that way we can find out so uh, this is the derivation already given to us you just go through it it is everything is given to whatever i have explained here and now we are coming the we can say one one uh, actually problem 7.3 Okay, what is the problem given to us? Now, PCl5, phosphorus pentachloride, phosphorus trichloride and chlorine are at equilibrium at 500 Kelvin and having concentration of which one? 1.59 molar of PCl3, 1.59 molar of chlorine and 1.41 of PCl5. Okay, now what do you find out? Karna hai? Na, calculate the Kc for the equation what is the equation a pcl5 is converted into pcl3 and cl2 so kc ka matlab kya aega? now that is actually pcl3 pcl2 matlab uh, it is coming about the 
product of the concentration divided by the product of the reactant uh, we can say so now a concentration of the reactant here so now it is coming about this uh, we can get this is the kc value now one more problem is given to us look at here this is the very uh, we can say so one more problem you can see here that is actually this one i will give just to give a little bit later i am explaining for the equilibrium nocl no and chlorine here value of equilibrium constant kc is given to us calculate the kp for the reaction so i am giving here 2 nocl no, nitrous chloride and it is coming uh, it is converted into nitrogen oxide that is 2 and plus chlorine so aapke kp kc ka value dekhe rakha hai 3.75 into 10 to the power minus minus 6 okay minus 6 clear to aapko kya find out karna hai na kp equals to question mark okay so what we know na kp equals to kc rt delta n theek hai na so KC मतलब क्या है ना 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 6 और RT ये RT भालू कौन सा है ना RT equals to RT into delta n मतलब क्या है कि 2 plus 1 3 minus 2 ठीक है ना तो RT की मतलब delta n मतलब 2 plus 1 minus 2 that means it is coming which one it is coming 3 Oh, sorry, 3 minus 2, that is 1. So, 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, RT ki value hum laga dete hai, 0 0.0831. And uh, it is coming about into 1069. Okay. Tiki value 1069. Now, why it is 1069? It is given here. In the book, in the book itself, it is given 1069. And what we are getting here, KP equals to, we are getting 0 0.033. Again, again, I am saying calculation. Uh, you have to make it short. And uh, you can do it, just, just it needs the practice, otherwise you can do it, uh, no need to worry about. Now I am coming to the this portion. This is a little bit, uh, we can say, tricky one. Just you have to pay concentration here, how we have to understand this one. Look at here. Carbon monoxide reaction, you can question the question Value of Kc is this one for 800k for the reaction. CO plus H2, CO2 plus H2. Calculate the equilibrium concentration of CO2, H2, CO and H2 at 800K. But the upco equilibrium constant find out can you if only CO and H2 are present initially at concentration of 0 0.10 molar H. ठीक है आपको इक्विलिब्रियम के टाइम में इसकी कंसंट्रेशन फाइंड आउट करनी है जबकि इनिशियल कंसंट्रेशन आप दोनों रिएक्टेंट को आपको बताया गया है दैट इज 0.10 मोलर ईच सो नाउ आई एम गिविंग द आई लेट मी इट इज आई नीड वन मिनट ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ आई एम राइटिंग हियर व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन हियर CO plus H2O and convert it into which one? CO2 plus hydrogen. All are in gaseous phase. All are in gaseous phase. Here what is given to us? Kc is given. Given here Kc hmm, equals to which one? Kc is given here. What is the question? Kc is 4.24. Temperature aapko dekhe rakha hai. 800 Kelvin. Okay. And aapko kya find out karna ki inka concentration at the time of equilibrium. Thik hai? Initially kya dekhe rakha hai na iska hai 0.1 molar. Shurwa jab karro uh, equation ki reaction ki at that time that is 1 point. To shurwa at me only reactant hi raha Product me kya jayega? 0. Clear now? Product me what be coming there? 0. Now if we consider let x mol per liter of each product each product is formed agar x mol per liter a product form ho rahe 0.1 mol per liter present hai initially but at the time of equilibrium so at the time of equilibrium we can say at equilibrium so at equilibrium may x mole product is formed. So at the time of equilibrium, we can say what will be the concentration now? Now for carbon monoxide. And again, I am writing the reaction. That will be easy. It is production is CO2 plus H2. So now it is coming initially 0.1 mm and it is coming to 0.1 mm. Okay. Now it is coming to 0.1 mm. 
एंड इज कमिंग जीरो पॉइंट वन एम एट द इनिशियली कोई प्रोडक्ट नहीं हुआ था तो डेफिनेट शुरुआत हुआ था रिएक्शन की तो जीरो जीरो प्रोडक्ट में एट इक्विलिब्रियम व्हाट इज कमिंग नाउ ना जीरो पॉइंट हम ये बोले थे कि एक्स एंड एक्स इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर एक्स मोलर इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर एक्स मोलर इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर तो ये एक्स मोलर इधर से गए तभी जाके प्रोडक्ट हुआ मतलब कार्बन मोनोक्साइड और एच टू में एक्स एक्स मोल चले गए इधर से देन एक्स एक्स मोल ऑफ सीओ टू एन एच टू इज प्रोड्यूस है वही प्रोड्यूस हो गया तो यहाँ पे डिडक्ट हो जाए क्योंकि यहाँ पे प्रोडक्शन हो रहे तो यहाँ से डिडक्ट होके यहाँ पे प्रोडक्ट हुआ तो नाउ द वॉट इज द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस एक्स जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस एक्स फॉर वाटर एंड फॉर द एट द टाइम ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम सीओ टू एन एस टू टी एक्स एक्स तो वॉट वी द इक्विलिब्रियम एट इक्विलिब्रियम वॉट वी द के सी देन सो के सी इज मतलब इक्विलिब्रिया के सी तो ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट है तो नाउ इट इज कमिंग एक्स इंटू एक्स मीन प्रोडक्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एक्स इंटू एक्स है ना बाई रिएक्टेंट तो इसमें क्या हुआ कि इसमें दोनों मतलब जो स्टोकोमेट्रिक वैल्यू है सभी में सेम है तो इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इसलिए तो x इंटू एक्स और यहाँ पे क्या आ जाएगा 0.1 पॉइंट वन माइनस एक्स इसके लिए और 0.1 पॉइंट वन माइनस एक्स किसके लिए वाटर के लिए तो वट इज कमिंग नाउ एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस एक्स होल स्क्वायर ओके एंड दैट इज कमिंग फोर पॉइंट टू फोर है ना ऑलरेडी गिवन है कैसे कितना है जीरो फोर पॉइंट एट फोर तो अभी इसके पास हमें क्या करना है ना पहले इसको तो सिंप्लीफाई कर लेते हैं जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर मीनस ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर तो जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर मतलब क्या हो जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाई करोगे तो क्या हो जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन प्लस क्या हो जाएगा एक्स स्क्वायर और टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन इंटू एक्स दैट मीन्स इट इज कमिंग जीरो पॉइंट टू एक्स एम एन क्लियर नाउ वी हैव टू दिस इज फोर पॉइंट टू फोर आपको क्या फाइंड आउट करना है कि कॉन्सेंट्रेशन फाइंड आउट करना है ये आपके दिमाग में रखना चाहिए कि वाट आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एक्स तो डेफिनेटली आपको इसको सोल्यूशन करनी है ठीक है तो एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फॉर्ट यू कैन राइट डाउन हेम ना जीरो पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू फोर और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन तो क्या हो जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू फोर प्लस जीरो सॉरी फोर पॉइंट टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर और माइनस इसके साथ टू मल्टीप्लाई करोगे और पॉइंट आगे आ जाएगा तो मीन जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट एक्स क्लियर ये मैं जस्ट मैंने मल्टीप्लाई कर दी इसके साथ ये फोर पॉइंट टू फोर मतलब इसके साथ सभी के साथ ये रिएक्शन मल्टीप्लाई हो गया मतलब ये जो इक्वेशन है तो आपके पास अभी एक्स स्क्वायर मैं एक तरफ ले लेती हूँ तो यहाँ पे फोर पॉइंट टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर यहाँ पे एक्स स्क्वायर है तो यहाँ पे माइनस हो जाएगा तो जीरो तो यहाँ पे सॉरी थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर हो जाएगा तो जीरो इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू फोर प्लस थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट एक्स तो अभी इस इसके मिडिल टर्म फैक्टर आपको करनी पड़ेगी सीधी सी बात है तो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग दिस इक्वेशन फाइनली व्हाट इज द इक्वेशन है थ्री टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट एक्स एंड प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू फोर इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ मिडिल टर्म फैक्टर वी हैव टू डू सो ए इक्वल्स टू वट इज दैट थ्री टू फोर बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट एंड सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू फोर एम आई क्लियर ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम कमिंग ओके तो अभी आपको ए की आपको मिडिल टर्म फैक्टर कैसे करना है क्वाड्रेट इक्वेशन के थ्रू तो व्हाट इज द क्वाड्रेट इक्वेशन एक्स इक्वल टू हम कैसे फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं ना माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट ओवर वी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू आई ए ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वन है ना तो ये फॉर्मूला भी आपको अप्लाई करनी है माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट ओवर बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाई टू आई सी दैट इज क्वाड्रेट इक्वेशन माइनस बी के बदले में हम क्या लिखेंगे ना माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट और माइनस पहले है तो हम लिख देते हैं जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट बी का वैल्यू कितना है माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट फोर एट उसके पहले माइनस है तो माइनस माइनस प्लस हो गया प्लस माइनस ठीक है तो यहाँ पे हो गया जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू सी की ए ए की वैल्यू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री टू फोर थ्री टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री पॉइंट सॉरी थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर है ना तो फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर एंड सी का वैल्यू कितना है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू फोर एंड डिवाइडेड बाई कितना हुआ है टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट 
सॉरी ठीक है तो अभी इसकी आपको सॉल्यूशन करनी है नेचुरल बात है तो जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट प्लस माइनस अभी देखो जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एट की होल स्क्वायर है ना तो इसको अगर आपको कैलकुलेशन करोगे तो इट इज़ कमिंग एक्चुअली वन मिनट